sandwiches and a piece of fudge, but we're ready to get out of here because it is insanely busy. Georgia. This weekend was filled with working yesterday. I worked on the truck and got a little bit of a leak up underneath. I need to go figure out where that's coming from. So it was a work Saturday. We drove today for about six hours up here to Savannah, Georgia. And we figured we'd just show it the setup. We've had some people ask what all does it take, how long does it take, and what all's involved. So I figured today's video would just kind of be setting up the camp. Now they're unhooked and we got the front jacks down. That allows us obviously to pull the truck out. Once the truck is out though, we put all the blocks up underneath the jacks in the back and then here, turn this system on. There's an auto level button here and the front jacks are already down obviously, but the other ones, they go down one at a time. Peyton and I will just make sure that all these blocks are up underneath and match up underneath the jack. Then it'll lower the front end and then it kind of does its thing until it's level and it's good to go. chocks just to get out from underneath the truck these just kind of a backup safety just go in between and crank them open this is not really my favorite box but it's got to be this here as you can tell is at an angle make sure everything goes downhill and then Gloves, very needed. This is a short run, so we we'll only need one hose. Our last place we needed both hoses. And this over here, it's a quick threaded install and it just snaps in. Pretty simple and easy. Doesn't take too long. There's a water seal here. We unscrew. That allows for the water line to come up underneath. I try and keep everything out of the dirt. Up and through. Easy connection. The other end of this, you really need to filter your water. So we filter the water, and then we have a pressure gauge on here. These water lines are kind of known to spike sometimes and it can break your septic. So we just screw those on, turn it on, good to go. So this thing is honestly not my favorite. We took it off last night before we moved and I kept it on in Florida the whole month. And last night I did notice our bedroom area, just getting in and out of bed and the shower, the bathroom area is up here. This did shake a whole lot more. So this is just a stabilizer. 
but it's kind of a pain to install. So I just gotta get all these legs down, you snap into the holes, and then I just screw this up, which raises the top. So we'll see. Typically, as soon as Preston levels it out, I head inside and I set up all the inside while he connects the power, the water, the hoses. He typically does the outside, I do the inside, like we've talked about before. But obviously, filming makes everything more exciting, but also more complicated. So we have finished the outside, but now we're gonna head in and set up and make it a little more homey. Putting the slides out is pretty simple. There are three slides, each one of them has a button, and you just hold it down until the slide is all the way out. So what Preston's doing right now is walking behind the slides and just making sure that in transport nothing fell or got lodged because you don't want to obviously move the slide and like something get crushed or something get stuck. That would just be a big mess. Okay, so then last time. is going around and taking off all these cabinet locks. Now they are great for when we travel because obviously it keeps the cabinets closed and secure so nothing falls out onto the floor. But it's the same thing like on an airline. Operate under the same principle. Be careful opening the overhead bins because things could shift while you travel. So definitely be careful doing that. But if a bunch of things have shifted, I just like to go ahead and fix them and organize them while I'm setting up. That way my kitchen's not a mess like the next day and I already have a project. Um, so just go ahead and do that, but definitely be careful when you're opening your cabinets. Filming has been a struggle today. I like, can't speak, can't put together coherent sentences. There's like a lot of bloopers going on. So I'm hoping that if I have a little bit of a treat, it'll make me better. Preston's been laughing at me because I'm just like, I can't do it today. So this is gonna be my magic. I'm gonna be able to film and speak because I'm having chocolate. And it's really good. Bucky's dark chocolate caramel sea salt fudge. 12 out of 10. move to the bedroom typically all of our books go up in the corner but I just lay them on the bed because that's where they travel and then we have a bunch of photos up here um, and so basically we just set them all back up and then our bed our slides a little weird so our mattress actually shifts whenever the slide comes in so we actually have to pick up our mattress and move it back to the right position kind of remake the bed and that's really all the bedroom requires Picture of me and Nana. What a legend. While Peyton was doing the bedroom, I kind of snuck in and did the bathroom. Basically, it's just the soap stuff that we put on the side of the wall. We put it all down on the floor and then a few things in the sink, so it's really not the big deal. Here in the back, strap our bikes down, bungee it in the back, dog kennels. That's about it. We just kind of pull this stuff out. The dogs, they run around back here all the time, so we just got to pull it out. We know this video was a little bit of a different style and a little bit shorter, but this is the reality of moving days. We break down the house, we drive a lot, we set up the house, and we rest. So tonight, just gonna have dinner. It's a little bit later, but we're gonna have dinner and just kinda hang out and get ready for another work week starting tomorrow. We're in Georgia!